Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome if you've never seen my face before. Um, today, as you can tell, the background is a little different and you probably already read the title, but we are going to do a little deep cleaning. Not really deep cleaning, but more like organization and decluttering because my kitchen is kind of a mess and very crowded and not very happy with it. So we're gonna make it better because if you're not happy with something, change it because you have the power to do that, okay? Everything is figure outable. I actually started reading that book on like Audible or whatever. I love it. Everything is figure outable. So let's figure it out. As some of you might know, I don't live in like a house or apartment or anything by myself or with my parents. I share a house with my cousin who I also share a room with and I also um, live with this family of three so it's the parents and their son but as far as the kitchen goes it's kind of a touchy issue because we don't really have enough space for everything plus my parents old stuff is still here and so we kind of have a lot of everything and it's all jam-packed in so today I'm gonna be tackling the pantry which I only have these two shelves that I actually share with my cousin so as you can tell there's a lot going on in order to like give this some room I'm also going to be decluttering one cabinet that I noticed is full of trash bags that we don't even use and just some other like areas around the kitchen that honestly the space could be used better so I'm gonna take advantage of it because if no one else will then I will I did watch a couple of videos about like pantry organizations before this and I saw that there are a lot of containers that you can get at Dollar Tree for just one dollar and so I am gonna take advantage of that but first I wanted to make sure that I kind of had like a plan for everything and I wasn't just buying stuff because so I went ahead and went to TJ Maxx because I know there's a couple of things that I want and I am not going to be able to get at Dollar Tree. Like the three things I have so far are one, this basket that I think is going to be really useful to hide anything. My goal is to um, get new containers for like flour, rice, um, cereal, oatmeal, things like that that we have a lot of and they come in these like ugly, well you can't see that, but like all these weird containers. I'm just gonna get some like clear containers Put a little sticker on it and call it a day basically but for smaller things that we don't really have that often or they're not big enough to put in like a container by themselves i'm going to keep in the original package and put in this basket just so that it looks more organized and if anything if we need anything from in here i think it'll be a lot easier to pull this out see what's in here because right now you can't see what's back there like i have no idea what's back in that corner so I just want to make it a lot easier and at the same time aesthetically pleasing. So I will not be touching any of the lower racks because those are not mine and I'm not going to waste money for other people. Time suppresses. This is the first thing, this basket. I love this like little brown kind of like macrame, not really, but that kind of look. What is this called? Baja hay, I guess kind of like boxes or whatever yeah so i got this at tj maxx for 5.99 that was the cheapest one that was there so i got it i had these two things in mind going into tj maxx the little box and this little spice rack which i am thinking i could either use it for like spices or like cans or things like that i want to put like back there and then like that i can stack up the spices or cans whatever i decide to put on there and in a way that i can actually see without this everything would be one behind the other but with this i'll have some things on top then a lower level and then another one so i can visually see what's there and i can also put stuff under and then even though this is kind of like a green color i don't plan to keep it this color this was only 3.99 and that was the cheapest one they had so I did have some leftover um, black spray paint from the DIY clothing rack that I did, which if you haven't seen that, I'll leave the link in the description. 
I'm planning on painting anything I get, like the lids of anything in that uh, spray paint so that it just all matches and looks a lot better. And this is one of those things that if I keep, then I'll paint it. The third thing I got at TJ Maxx was this slide out baskets thing, which looks like this. And yes, it was already open when I bought it and it's $12.99 and so the reason I got this was not so much for the pantry but for one of those cabinets when I said it's full of bags because basically this builds up so it's like twice as high and then you can pull out the baskets so if I put this in that tiny little cabinet then you can actually like if you can't see what's in the bag you can pull it out and then you can actually grab whatever you need instead of having to reach over you know it's a lot more convenient but I haven't measured this yet, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in there. I have to check on that. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna try to find out what I'm gonna put in those two containers and if I'm actually gonna keep them. And then I can go ahead and plan out what else I need to get. I'm thinking maybe a Lacey Susan. I actually saw one at TJ Maxx for only $3 or uh, I saw some DIYs from the Dollar Tree, but those are also kind of like $3 in the end, so I think I might as well just get the TJ Maxx one, which looks nicer. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start off by taking everything out and putting it on the dining room table. Like that, I can actually play around with the positioning of the box and the shelf thing and try to put some stuff in there. The other day I made a post on Instagram on my story about this little jar right here. Basically I said I'm going to try to collect all the glass jars. If you hear any screaming in the back, that's the uh, son of the people I live with. So please don't mind him, he likes to scream when he's playing video games. I'm planning on keeping all the glass jars of the products that I buy, like salsa, I don't know, whatever it is that comes in a glass jar. So I'm gonna be keeping these, I'm still gonna do that. And basically changing out any products that have I have constantly and stuff and then labeling them with a little um, washi tape and a marker to say what it is, the expiration date and who it belongs to. So once I do have a couple of these and probably the Dollar Tree, I will also be painting the lids of these. I still plan on doing this. I think it's gonna look really nice. But I also want to get a Lacey Susan for these, so then I can get it and then... You know? I was also thinking I could maybe get some wooden clothespins instead of these, because these are kind of ugly and mismatch. But with the wooden ones, it should look nicer. And I think they sell those at the Dollar Tree. Later I found out they do actually sell the spice rack at the Dollar Tree but it didn't work for me because of the type of shelves I have. Mine has holes so the one that they sold at the Dollar Tree would go through the holes in my shelves. So what I did was I was able to get the spices, like the spice rack thing in here and was actually able to fit most of my spices. With this little jar right here, since it is glass, I am thinking I'm gonna put this uh, white sugar because I don't really use much of it and it's a cardboard thing and it's not really sealed or anything. So I'm gonna move this to here and find a different container for the salt. For the little basket in here, what I got was um, my Ziploc bags. I have all of them like separated by their box that they came in. All of them inside of one of that same bag. And then I've got some wild rice and I'm not gonna be getting much of that. Some little Cheez-It bags. This, which I don't know what this is, but it's my cousin's. So I'm just throwing that in there. Some pecans, granola. Like things that I don't think we get enough to get a whole container of. So this, 
I have two options of how to do it. I was thinking I could put it right there and then if I can find something that's like stackable, that's that small, then that would be perfect. Otherwise, I think the option I actually prefer is putting this up here just because I want to get a Lacey Susan and I feel like if I put it up here, it's not that accessible. So I would rather put it down here and I want to get a big one so that we can put all our stuff in there. And then here I'll put the containers with um, cereal, pasta, and everything that I'm repotting. Wow, it's hot in here. And then let me show you guys how I've organized everything over there to kind of figure out how much of everything I need. So this is our dining room table and you see I've kind of separated everything here. All of this is what I would like to repot up to here. And then these are the things I would like to get onto a Lazy Susan. These are the potatoes and garlic that I had in there. I actually have more potatoes, but they're like at the bottom. And then we have the quinoa here that I'm probably going to just take the labels off of. And some Oreos that I actually don't know what to do with, but we'll see about that. Alright, so basically I'm going to kind of write down everything I need for these. I'm going to kind of leave this here overnight. I'll throw that stuff away or like put it somewhere else. This right here is that cabinet I was talking about that's full of trash bags. So, since we already have this thing from Ikea, I'm just going to fill it up with the bags. See, that whole thing is filled up with bags. So I'm just going to finish filling this up and then I'll hang it on the side of the pantry and then I can use this for something else if I can find some type of a system that I can stack on here to have like shelves or something. So I can already see that this wouldn't fit in here. I'm actually thinking of another place where I could put this. There's a bag of rice down here. So never mind, there's actually other stuff back there. I thought it was just bags. I'm just gonna empty this and take that stuff back to the garage. I bought this to spray the orchids and I lost it and I was like, where did that go? Now we know. Freaking. Like, I don't even know what this is. This looks like some kind of definitely contraption. Good morning guys, it is the next day now and I just got to the Dollar Tree so I'm gonna find some containers here, see what I can get and I actually specifically came to a Dollar Tree that's farther away from me um, just because it's a bigger one so I know that they usually have more stuff than the regular ones so let's see what I can find hot outside and I have to pee so bad why are you beeping bro that day to wear a long sleeve I'm gonna get home because I really have to pee and I don't want to pee anywhere else because coronavirus no thanks okay I'm gonna go and then I changed into a t-shirt because I was suffocating oh I forgot to mention I found these two containers 
in my garage which my mom actually gave me that she like found in this house thing but uh, i washed them real good and i already put my rice and spaghetti in there and i really like these because they're glass you can see me putting the empty containers into the pantry here just to visualize which ones i will be using Then I went ahead and took off all the labels and washed them with hot water to disinfect them. Hello, hello! I kind of just put away everything I had done in the kitchen because the people I live with got home and so I didn't want to like be in their way and I had a mess. So I just kind of like tidied everything up for the moment and then now that they all went upstairs to the rooms, I am going to set up a plastic tablecloth that I bought and put it here on this table and then I'm gonna get to spray painting the spice rack, possibly the Lazy Susan thing I did and all of the lids of all the containers that I got. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I decided to empty out this little closet next to the kitchen so we could have our own space instead of having everything spread out throughout different cabinets. I really think painting all the lids black was an easy and affordable fix that made everything look so sleek and nice. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the after. Hey guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed what did you think did you like the switcheroo that i did did you think that was a good idea i'm hoping a lot of those empty cabinets we can keep moving stuff around so that other cabinets aren't so filled because i know for sure our plate cabinet and cups cabinet are like filled to the brim so i'm hoping maybe we can relieve some of that space and have a better use of the kitchen so it's more pleasant place to be in anyways if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you have any comments leave them down below make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and hit that bell to get notified every time i post a new video if you're interested that is it you guys i will see you very soon bye